let's both turn and look at the camera really like <laughs> like that. Hi guys, welcome back for our third episode. My name is Miguel. And I'm Kayvon, and this is Gilbert Daily Press. Thanks for watching. So we had a pretty busy weekend running around Gilbert. Lots of stuff going on. We had Barktoberfest, we had the Taste of Santan, mm -hmm. and there was even some carnival fun thrown in there. Another exciting thing that we're gonna cover this episode is the winner of the Pogo Pass. So right now in Germany is Oktoberfest. But early this week, Dan went to Barktoberfest. <laughs> it was the 15th annual Barktoberfest held at the Gilbert Town Center. Really cool event, tons of people out there. They had lots of cool contests, costumes, the dogs were dressed up, it was super cute. Dan was out there, check it out. This event got started as a simple dog washing, bobbing for bone in the parking lot of one of our volunteers' Starbucks store. And it grew from there within two years into this big event. The town of Gilbert is so awesome to host us every year. It's a lot of fun for the whole family, not just the furry friends. Here with Santa Steve, the winner of the look-alike contest. Tell me, what's your dog's name, sir? Louie. He's a great looking dog. What kind of breed? He's a rescue, so we think he's a bearded collie. You've been jabbing it up all day. What do you think about all these dogs out here? I think it's great. Think everybody bringing all their dogs out here supporting Sparktoberfest and Friends for Life. It's great. It's our 15th year. Next year they got, we got to have a ton more people come out. So what are their names? Watchworth and Darcy. What type of dogs are they? They are English Bulldogs. How are you enjoying the event today? I'm enjoying the event. I can't wait to get home tonight and watch the Cardinals crush the Mayor's Giants though. That's going to be epic. How are you feeling about judging the event? Oh, that was tough competition, that, and especially in the best dressed costume, 50 contestants that made it very challenging, but we're glad they were all here and it was a fun activity. Do you have any pets of your own? Yes, we have horses, and we were thinking maybe we need a horse for a fest. <laughs> I, right now, I would attend that for sure. Yeah, right now, Barktoberfest, there were a couple of dogs here that did look like horses, though, so maybe that's already happening. Thanks so much for the interview and participating. Back to the studio. Thank you so much, Mr. Mayor. That was great. Third episode, we got the mayor and the town manager. Friends for Life did a really great job this weekend, set a record. 14 adoptions took place on this Saturday. Really? Wow. Really cool. 14 cool. pets' lives were saved. It warms my heart. Check it out. It's a great option. Cats and dogs. The link is below. Are you just The rolling? hills are alive with the taste of Santan. So on Friday, we were out at the Taste of Santan event hosted by the Santan Village Shopping Center, and it was to benefit Save the Family. There was over 500 guests, a lot of great food. We were all out there, including Dan, who was looking rather dapper. Why don't you guys check it out and decide for yourselves. Here at Taste of Santan, I'm excited about this one. This is our seventh annual Taste of Santan. You go to each booth and they'll give you a sampling of different foods or a beverage depending on where you're going. It's a great event and we love that we have a partnership with Santan Village and we love that it's in Gilbert. How do you like the event so far? It's great. We've had our picture done. So we love the music. We're having a great time and it's great charity. What are you ladies serving today? We have different kinds of cupcakes and French macarons. Now what's the difference between a macaron and a cupcake? Uh, macaroons are awesome. They're like little clouds of heaven, basically. What are some of the prizes you can win here at the raffle? There you have a seven-day vacation, $500 shopping spree here at Santan Village, and a bunch of event tickets for shows and things like that. What are you serving? Well, the best gelato in all of Arizona right here. Perfect night with a perfect companion here representing Gordon Bjur. Yes. What are you uh, sampling this evening? It's a sausage trio with braised cabbage and sauerkraut. We're also doing a white chocolate cranberry bread pudding with a brandy cherry sauce. What's your favorite of the two? I love desserts. I have to go with the bread pudding. So good. <laughs> a real sweet tooth, huh? What have you enjoyed thus far? Kona Girl is delicious. What part of Gilbert are you from? We are not from. We're actually from Awatuki. Well, very nice. So you came all this way. What do you think of the location? It's outstanding. They've done a beautiful job. We contract with the city to develop and operate affordable housing for Gilbert's working poor families. So we have cherished that uh, partnership with the town for a long, long time, and it's just exciting to not only work here, but be part of playing here as well. That's a wrap!
All right, let's dive in. What was your favorite part? I think those those cannolis at the Grimaldi stand. <laughs> you looked like you were enjoying those cannolis. I'm a sucker for a good cannoli. I like a good, a sweet Italian pastry. <laughs> Red Robin had a plate with just some nachos and a chicken wing on it. Yeah, I know those chicken that wings. That was the one thing nachos. I stopped for. <laughs> if you didn't go this year, go next year. It was tight. Do people still say tight? So if you want to learn more about Save the Family, there's a link posted below. And if you would like to learn more about the Taste of Santan event, we will have a highlight video coming soon. Seriously, guys, mark your calendars for next year because this was awesome. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for. The winner of the Pogo Pass. Do you want to unveil it, or should I? Um, let's you do say, it together. Yeah, you say the first name. I'll say, okay. I'll okay, say the last That sounds name. fun. Okay. If you're going to have fun, we, we should have fun too. So the winner of the Pogo Pass is Kristen Carter. Good job, looking bored, kids. You just won yourselves a year long pass for fun. Yeah, or a year long fun pass. <laughs> year long, that's a better way to say it. Congratulations. Great job, we'll be reaching out to you soon. Your kids are gonna have a blast. They're gonna love you even more than they did before you won this. <laughs> so for all the people who didn't win the Pogo Pass. Which is a lot of you. Still lots of family fun going on. Yeah, so I don't know if you've driven down Greenfield past... Uh, right past Ray? Ray, yeah, Crossroads Park. You'll notice, yeah. unless you're very unobservant, there's a lot of huge carnival rides. Yeah, enormous. And at first, driving by, you're like, oh, that looks super creepy. But yeah. <laughs> we went in, and it was actually really cool. Yeah, it was fun. It was fun. Lots of cool stuff to do. I was impressed. Out here at the Gilbert Carnival, taking selfies. I'm the man. There's always stuff to do in Gilbert. Great family and community events all the time. You having a good time? Yeah. yeah. My favorite part of the carnival is um, that slide over there. Oh, she is. Oh. All right, so what brings you out to the carnival today? We just were, just bored. were bored. On Friday and, night, yeah. so we came out here. Have you won any prizes? No. no. Well, here you go, sir. Thank you. Congrats. I hear there's fishies in the area. That seems a little fishy to me. Let's see if I can win one or two or three or four. Tougher than it appears. Ah! Okay, Dan's off enjoying games, so I'm stepping in and interviewing this fine couple right here. Is it your first date? No. no it's actually our one year anniversary. anniversary. One year anniversary, and you guys decided to come to the fall carnival. How sweet. What are the chances of me winning? More you pop, bigger it goes. That's one. Got some karate masters over here. Do you know any moves like these? Well, yes, I do. All right, well, show them off. If you got some kids looking to get in some dancing, be sure to check out Desert Star Dance. I can't believe this is Gilbert is crazy. There you have it, folks. So long, and sir. Here's looking at you. I'm good. I can't believe. <laughs> <laughs> so if this is Greenfield, this is Ray. A little bit north is this tiny street called Knox, with where Crossroads Park is. I used to play soccer there as a so child. So the watch is where the carnival is. Don't forget, the carnival still runs this weekend, Thursday through Sunday, mm -hmm. and it's fun. Free entry, you just gotta pay for the rides. Yeah, there's like a ticket system. We it's... had a great time, the three of us, for $12 is all we spent. All right, coming up this week. Wherever we may be, we will be tweeting and posting on Instagram. So if you see our tweets and you can come find us, then come find us. Yeah, and if you see our Instagrams, like us, and then come find us. <laughs> That's what I meant. Everything mentioned in this video is represented in link form down in the description. Educate yourself. Re-educate yourself. Do yourself a favor. Click those links. Bye! We saw you walking around with that cool looking rig. What can you tell us about that? Yeah, it's a stabilizer, a video stabilizer that you can uh, shoot uh, all kinds of video with, with your iPhone or your GoPro. Thanks. Where could someone find something like that? Yeah, just go to the website, uh, it's stablecam.com. Gilbert Dogs 24-7 is a doggy daycare boarding and grooming facility. We're cage-free, right. so it's a very different boarding facility than a typical place would be. I am representing the link leash. It's, it's hands-free, it goes over your shoulder, and then you can take it off and let your dog go do its business or sniff something and then easily slip it back on. Pavana is an in-your-home pet sitting business, um, really focused on making sure we provide a stress-free environment for your pet while you're traveling. And I'm here to represent the Gilbert Marathon that will be taking place part of Gilbert Days. We will have a race followed by the parade 
and then followed by the All Day Gilbert Days Festival at the Gilbert Civic Center. Help us get to 250 subscribers. We're already at 128. We want to double that. So please share, 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 share. Sunny and share this video.